So let's start to incorporate these attributes into our shader to see if we can get any um, interesting variations on the uh, looks of these particles. So I'm gonna just bring this back up here and we're gonna go jump into our particle network and we've got our standard material. I'm just gonna expand this out so we can see all the um, all the inputs. And let's throw down a particle or a point attribute um, node. So point, I'm gonna hit tab and start typing point attribute, RS point attribute. I'm just gonna click that in here. So let's just uh, grab maybe the, um, let's grab this random uh, attribute, this rand right here, and assign sort of a random color to our um, our object using that. So um, here in this particle attribute lookup, instead of uh, CD, I'm gonna type in rand, just as it is on that other, um, on the attribute. And then I'm just gonna wire this into color. And now if I click render, we should see that they're all sort of different colors. It's kind of hard to see. But um, you can see that some of these are black and some of these are white because that random value from one to from zero to one is uh, being supplied to our color. Now, if we send this through a ramp, we can get more interesting colors and start to uh, dial it in. Let's throw down a ramp, so RS ramp, and I'm just gonna wire that in between here. And here, this by default is also going from black to white, but maybe let's um, crank one of these colors to that orange kind of theme that we're going with for, for right now. And you can kind of see now that we get this sort of orangey, orangey white ramp. I'm gonna just bring this down like so. Maybe I actually wanna have more orange particles than white particles, and I can kind of snug those together like so and kind of get um, a different kind of look for our, um, for our particles like so.